G'day guys, thanks for tuning in to the Optimite again, good to see you. Hey, um, when I was in a pinch recently, I was looking for uh, Soundflower, because uh, I wanted to reroute some audio throughout my system, and just couldn't do it, and couldn't find it. They realised that it's been updated and it's now become a played, paid plugin, uh, or program, whatever you want to call it, app. Uh, so I was kept on hunting, you know me, I find the good stuff. So I was having a look around and came across this little thing called Jack Pilot. So once it's installed, it does all that audio routing for you all over the place. You can see things here, there, and everywhere. Obviously in a line, but backwards and forwards as to the places that you want it to go. So first thing you do when you get it going is you hit the start button. Once it's up and running, it says Jack server is starting. Cool. So there you go. It's already done its thing. Now, you hit the little routing button there, and uh, from there, it'll tell you we've just got the system set up at the moment, so it's looking at system settings whatever we've got set up so we go over to system settings hit sound in my case uh, if i hit it right and there we go line in so at the moment it's actually looking at the line in that's me talking through an external microphone mixer coming in through the sound card basically as a mini jack mini jack in so that'll do the trick okay so we've got our input now the cool thing with this and is that you know, any program you line up, it, it'll be able to do it for you. So what I want to do next is actually want to send this into Reaper, which is where I'm going to do my audio processing. So my send port over here is the one that I want it to come from, and then the receive port is where I want it to go. In this case, I want to send it to Reaper. Let me just reset this for you guys. Easy way to reset and clear those connections is just to double click on them. Okay, so what you want to do is have your preferences open. In my case, I actually need record enable on down here in the bottom left as well. Now if I go to my audio devices, I've got Jack Router set up as the audio input, and I also need that set up as the audio output. Okay, I'll hit reply, and we're good. Now, here comes the bit that's not so intuitive, but after a while, you kind of get the hang of it. Now, the audio that I want is coming from my send port, it's coming from the system input, and I want to send it to Reaper. Okay, so all I do, now that I've got the blue highlight from where it's coming from, double click on where I want it to go. Boom. Okay, see it's red. It's live. So it's taking from capture 1 and 2 on the audio input, going into audio 1 and 2 on Reaper. And there's the connection over there. Okay, at any time you want to delete that, oops, I'll double click the wrong one, just get rid of them again. Okay, just like that. So if I want to do it again, hit system, that's where I want it to come from. That's where I want it to go. Brilliant. Okay, so I've got signal down here in Reaper, which is what I'm doing. I've got my audio processing sitting in here, which is what I want it to do, and it will be happy. Now, in my case, I want to send it to another option as well. Okay, so I'm now sending it out live over the internet, and I'm going to use Flash Media Live Encoder to do that. Okay, so again, open it up, make sure we've got the preferences ready. It won't see it until there. Hit this little button down here and look for Jack Router. So Jack Router is the one that we want to get the audio to. So at the moment that was taking it from somewhere else. Okay, so in a little bit it'll turn up over here. There it is, Flash Media Live Encoder. Perfect. Okay, again I want to take the audio that we generated and sent into Reaper and I want to send it to Flash Media Live Encoder. So, oops, hang on, look. Reaper's already going to there. Let's get rid of those. I don't need that. And we want to send it to Flash Media Live Encoder. So double click because we've already got where we want to send it from. Double click. Done. And it's also taken it from there as well, which I don't want, which I've noticed it been doing. So let's get rid of the ones we don't want. Okay, let's check it again. So we go back to system. System is sending to... This is why I say it's not that intuitive. If you end up clicking around on all sorts of things, you'll lose stuff. System, sending to Reaper. Come over here to Reaper, sending to Flash Media Live Encoder. And we're done. So we've sent it to a couple of different places. So we're coming in from the sound card, system in is going to Reaper. Okay, from Reaper, it's now going to Flash Media Live Encoder. So that's after the processing that we've done. Takes a little bit to get your head around it, but once you're there and you end up clicking on a few extra things, what I found useful was if you're no longer wanting to look at that, if you start clicking on another one, it'll 
start connecting them. So I'll just click off that and then you can go start clicking on something else. Otherwise you start connecting too many things like I just did before. See, learning on the go. It's all good. Hey guys, I hope this helps. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if uh, anything we've done today is worthy of your subscription, absolutely hit the subscribe button. More cool videos to follow. Thanks guys.